Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a brand new guide. It's going to be a supreme reselling guide for beginners. Um, last time I did a beginner guide it was for Depop um, and that went really well. It's one of my most viewed videos um, and it's only been around for like f I think five months. Um, but yeah, so I really think these uh, beginner guides are quite helpful and um, and I obviously can tell by like the, the feedback I've got off those videos and all the subscribers. I know a lot of my new subscribers have come from that video. So thank you very much to all you new subscribers. Um, I am going to try and move my channel in the direction more of guides and tutorials, giving content that's actually going to help people um, rather than just showing you like what I've bought or blah, 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 like a generic boring video. Uh, because to be honest, those videos are quite boring to make. Um, and these where like where i feel like i'm actually going to help people these are quite fun and i would happily make a lot of these so if you have any suggestions of tutorials or guides you'd like to see in the future make sure to drop them down in the comments down below or message me on instagram which is uh, at josh vlogs links in the description below but yeah anyway we get on to the video um the first supreme drop um, of the year is actually going to be on the 15th of february that is an in-store drop only so um i know a lot of resellers are online um, like me, I, I, I've never been to an actual Supreme drop, um, but yeah, I do it online and I'd recommend that for a beginner. Um, unless obviously you know people who have been to the stores before and can kind of give you guidance there, whereas I wouldn't be able to. Um, the first online drop is a Thursday after, which is the 22nd. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's in a few weeks time, depending on when you're watching this video. So I thought this would be like quite a good time to bring it out because I know a lot of people are getting into reselling Supreme um, and it's becoming bigger and bigger. Um, so you may as well kind of uh, join in, like why not? Um, but yeah, just a bit of generic information. Um, Supreme drops happen at 11 a.m. UK time every Thursday, um, obviously while the season's still going on. Um, also, if you want to know what I would recommend to any beginner or just anyone really, um, if you don't already, follow Drops by Jay on Instagram. Um, he posts the drop list for every week, um, and that will that obviously on his Instagram he posts a drop list. Um, so you know what items are coming and usually you can find out which the hype items are Which is another point I would say you want to find out what the hype items are unless obviously you're going for something that you just generally like yourself um, So don't get me wrong this uh, tutorial isn't just for resellers This is just for anyone who's a beginner and wants to buy stuff off supreme and don't want to pay the resale price Then more than like then these tips will help you as well. So make sure to um, yeah, just make sure to use these tips um, so yeah, obviously if you look at the drop list, usually people will point out or he will point out what the most uh, hyped items are and the most hyped colorways. But usually if it's a t-shirt, you want to be going for like the black colorway unless it's like a, uh, like a black or white. They're just generic, like generally most popular colors that people wear. But then if it's like, um, so when they did the box logo hoodies, like the peach colorway, I remember that was like one of the most um, popular ones because they didn't make as many of them and it's just like a unique colorway that they haven't made before. Um, so obviously stay stay on top of what's dropping so you know um, and then make sure you know what the hype times are if you're purely reselling or just go for the items that you want. Um, another thing is if you know the item that you want, if you go onto the Supreme website you they have different pages like any website they don't just have they have the new tab which obviously just has all the new stuff and the new drop but they also have like um i can't remember the exact ones but they have like t-shirts like long sleeves like uh hoodies or jumpers they have them like that so if you know that you're going for a t-shirt then go onto the t-shirt tab when you refresh instead of going onto new because it saves you having to scroll down all the way or scroll down wherever to try and find that t-shirt that you're looking for because you're already on the right page um, i find this is pretty useful uh, when i copped a champion uh, supreme hoodie last year um, i did that exact thing i went onto the hoodies or the jumpers or whatever the actual thing was um, and then it was just there straight away bought it whereas if i had to scroll down through the stuff i may have missed out on um, a few of the drops um, but yeah, same. I did the same with the North Face drop as well with the T-shirt. Went on to the T-shirt bit and then just cop the cop the T-shirt straight away. Um, so yeah, make sure you know. Also, if you are going for a certain item, make sure you know what the value of that item is going to be. Um, you get people who kind of estimate, but usually 
uh, usually if it's a hyped item, it's like kind of risk free because you're always going to be able to get your money back for it. Um, so I would just kind of try and know the value of it. Obviously, if it's like a certain collab or it's like a box logo, you know that that's going to be the thing you want to get as hard as it is to cop. Um, but yeah, that's just a bit of generic information that I would recommend to you guys. Um, also, when you're actually buying, you want to use uh, Google Chrome if you can. I mean, obviously, some people have to do it on their phone or some people haven't got access to Google Chrome. But Google Chrome has an extension that you can purchase, which is, I think is about £3. Um, but believe me, if you make one set, if you, if you manage to buy something to resell using this extension, then you've already made your money back on the first purchase. And it's helped me out so much. Um, this is uh, the Supreme Autofill extension on Google Chrome. Um, yeah, as I said, it's about £3. And what you do is you fill in your details, fill in your name, address, phone number, um, and then you put your credit card details in there, but only put your credit card details in there before, like on the day of the drop or like a half an hour before, and then make sure to delete them afterwards because um, not that this is a dodgy extension or anything, but in case anything happens, they do say on the extension, delete your information afterwards. And I'm pretty sure there's even a tick box which says to clear your credit card. Um, just because, you know, if you leave it in there and then something happens, then somebody may have access to your information. You don't want that. But I would also suggest using PayPal. Yeah, it's always pretty good. I mean, sometimes it does bug out a little bit, so you just gotta be careful with that. Um, but that's the same with any kind of payment on the Supreme website. So yeah, make sure you download that extension. That is a necessity. I mean, it's not a bot. It's not, um, as far as I'm aware, it's not like against the, the rules or anything. It pretty much, all it does is just put your details in so it saves you having to type them all out. It doesn't auto like auto buy it for you or um, it's not gonna give you an advantage in that way, but it definitely gives you a time advantage once you've selected your product, click checkout, and then you just go through the payment process very, very quickly. Um, so when it actually comes to selling, so once you've actually obviously bought the item, um, actually I've got a, I've forgot completely forgot a point. Um, so as I said, it's 11 o'clock uh, on a Thursday. That is when the drops are. Um, make sure if you've got an iPhone, if you uh, go on your iPhone and then go like onto, I don't know if this is going to focus all right because of the tire, because of the uh, like. If you go onto here, you see I've got the clock app here. Um, make sure you have this open on your phone at the time because if you watch the hand um, if you if you click on the clock it won't work because it will just come out of your uh, alarms um, but if you actually watch the clock it's it is like very very precise and a couple of seconds before you can like you can watch it until it's a couple seconds before 11 and then you want to refresh the page um, either just the main new page or the, as I said before, the t-shirt, hoodie page, whatever you want to do. Um, if you refresh, refresh it then, and then it loads, you sometimes can get it just very precise. Whereas if you wait for like it actually to say 11 on the Supreme website, um, it may not be as precise, like depending on like um, internet connections and things like that. So yeah, make sure, that's a really good tip. Make sure to uh, look at the time on your phone um, just because it's just so much quicker and you can get a very, very precise uh, detail of when the time is. Uh, it gives you the best opportunity. Um, and then, so now we get into the selling. You want to look at other people's listings. So personally, I prefer Depop. Uh, I don't really like using eBay. I will do as a last resort, but there's a lot of things on eBay. Whereas Depop, I prefer, much prefer it. And you've got everyone's like reviews and stuff like that. It's a much nicer kind of, um, um, I don't know what the, like, the profiles are much nicer. So it's like a much nicer environment to buy off, I, well, in my personal opinion, than uh, eBay. Um, and then basically, as soon as you've bought the product, you've got the information, uh, you've got the confirmation through from Supreme, and it, they're saying like, they'll obviously send you shipping details later on. As soon as you've got the receipt and the information, you wanna make sure you list that on Instagram, uh, on Depop, because there's gonna be loads on Depop. Um, if you go on, if you're not buying anything, you go on at 11, you'll see everyone post their confirmation up. Um, and this is just basically, you just wanna get your items sold if you're reselling as quickly as possible, because people will miss out on what an item and go straight to buy it. And uh, yeah, you don't wanna kinda miss out on that window. Don't get me wrong, if you don't post it straight away, you will definitely still be able to sell it. But why wait, like what is the point in waiting if you just know you're gonna sell it anyway? For instance, when I was in Portugal a couple of, uh, in the summer, I bought a Supreme Nasty, I don't know how I got it, 
Um, but I got it, posted the confirmation, I sold it within like two hours, um, made £100 on that t-shirt. And I mean, to somebody who actually wanted that t-shirt, that's probably a bit annoying to hear. But um, I did want it, just in a different colorway. Um, but yeah, don't waste any time when it comes to selling because I just think that it's kind of, a, well, it's just a big missed opportunity because people are willing to pay the money straight up. Um, also, just make sure you look at other people's lists and see what they're pricing it for. Someone's pricing it for £100, don't go and price it for like £200. Just pointless, you won't get any, like you may get DMs, but you're not gonna get people asking you um, for that price that you want. You wanna, like if you want a, a sale and you don't matter if it's really, really quick, then just put it up as what a similar price that everyone else has put in and a fair price that is. Um, and then also, Make sure you uh, you undercut people um, if you really want a quick sale, um, and then people are obviously more attracted to buy your thing than other people's. But make sure you actually look at the colorways and the sizes of the of the items because some colorways and some sizes go for like various prices. So if you've got a more rare colorway than a different one, then you obviously want to price that higher because um, it's just pretty self-explanatory, and I'm sure you already understand. Where I'm going with this, but make sure you do that and make sure you actually pay quite good detail to the um, like the descriptions of people's items. Um, just you know, just going to really help you out. Um, and then finally, I would suggest avoiding trading with people uh, only because a lot of people scam. And when you are trading, what I do, luckily, um, well, I say luckily, but I have a like a decent review base on Depop. Got nearly 300 review. Ugh. 300 reviews now and um, so for me it's a bit easier for me to trade with people if I want to because they can see the reviews and think like um, like he's gonna be he's gonna be reliable whereas if you've got someone with no reviews and who wants to trade or I would always say uh, if someone wants to trade with you get them to send you their items first um, and then um, obviously your the powers in your hands you can do what you want but obviously I wouldn't scam anyone because it just ruins your reputation and I think that's far more important than making a little bit of money in the long term um, but yeah don't trade with people I wouldn't anyway unless you know them and you know they're reliable um, because a lot of, like it's out of your control once you've posted it I've had it before where I've got scammed and it's just not good so anyway Enough uh, rambling on about that. I hope you, this was kind of a helpful video. And as I said before, if you've got any guides that you want like me to do or any advice that you want me to give or anything like that, um, kind of from a beginner's perspective, I feel like always does quite well because I am or I was a beginner at some point, so I can always give you my personal opinions. Um, let me know in the comments or DM me as I said on Instagram. Links are in the description below. And uh, stay tuned for the next video, guys. I'm really gonna try and put some more time into YouTube and try and get some more videos out a um, bit more frequently when I have the time. So anyway guys, see you next time. Good luck. Peace.